All right, well, I think Devin already emptied this chest. Let's see where else we're going. Okay, let's go down here. So we are doing third grade questions. We're still focusing on um, polygons. Some of these questions will give in the shape or the name and we'll have to find the shape and some of the questions will have the shape and we'll have to find the name. All right, let's see. Oh, yes. Both of these guys are weak to water. We're going to totally get them on this one because I actually have my water packs. Resist? No fair. No fair at all. All right, let's take a look at our question. So a rhombus. All right, we haven't talked about rhombuses in a couple videos, so let's go over what a rhombus is. A rhombus, and this is something that you'll kind of learn in high school, and I'm teaching you in third grade. I know, okay, but we'll be quick. A rhombus is a special type of parallelogram. And what makes a rhombus special is that all sides are congruent. And so because, and congruent means the same size. So because it's a type of parallelogram, parallelograms have four sides, okay? So if we look here, this shape has seven sides. So this shape is the heptagon. This shape has four sides, but it only, it's not a parallelogram, it's a trapezoid. So we can't even consider it to be a rhombus. So this has four sides. It is a parallelogram because the opposite sides are congruent, the opposite sides are parallel, but what makes this special is all the sides are the same. Just like how a square is also a kind of rhombus. A square is a rhombus that has right angles. So it's kind of like a rhombus and a rectangle got together and had some kids. All right. I really, see the thing is, powerful. See, I, I thought I was gonna say weak, but it ended up saying powerful. So first mate Devon seems to be pretty, doing pretty well. Okay, now we have the shape and we need to match the word. Okay, remember that anytime we have gone, that's just a fancy word for shape. So we want to look at the prefix. So rectangle, everyone pretty much knows what a rectangle is. That's clearly not a rectangle. A pentagon has five sides and a hexagon has six sides. So we need to determine how many sides the shape has. One, two, three, four, and five. It has five sides. So it's a five-sided shape, pentagon. Get magic and back to the battle. Oh, we're so going to downpour this baby. 507, did you see that? Awesome. All right, time for another question. All right, let's count our shapes. We've talked about most of those names before. This is one, two, three, four, five, six. And yes, it is totally okay to count the shapes. Octagons are like octopus. They have eight sides. Hexagons have six sides and pentagons have five sides. Because the shape has six sides and six angles, it's a hexagon. And I do want to say that because all of these sides are the same and the angles are the same, they're all congruent. What makes this not only a hexagon is we're also going to call it a regular hexagon. And what that means is it's a hexagon, it's a six-sided figure, but all the sides are congruent and all the angles are congruent. So that is a middle school word you're learning right now. Maybe some of your teachers are teaching to you in third grade, but usually we hold off until middle school to discuss the regular. Pretty much we will only give you regular polygons at this age, but we don't tell you that they can change later. I kind of want to keep going, so let's keep going on this video. See what happens next. Remember, we don't need to worry about getting the member stars. That's totally not important at all. I forgot Devin had a little get-go with him. All right, here we go. Who are we up against? Do you know their names? I don't know their names yet. Sarah Zig, Hi Fawn, and Ashlyn. All right, well, some of them are 
impacted the most by water, so hope oh, of course our water. Well, it still had critical damage. It still had critical damage. That's awesome. All right. Well, let's see what our next question. Oh, they're really, really, really attacking my funky All right. What shape is this? We're going to just go to counting. It doesn't matter. Here's a hint when you count, it's good to come up with a starting point. So I like to use the pen tool so I can easily come up with that. But if you are in class, I would always just maybe start at the top and you can go around that way. All right, seven sides. Well, we already know from our previous um, questions that hexagons have six sides. We know what a square looks like. So it's gotta be the heptagon that has seven. We'll still do Bubble Valley. That was a basic spell, let's be realistic. Alright, let's do a couple more questions. What shape is this? Most of you can immediately recognize it because in the middle it would have the word stop and stop signs have eight sides and are octagons and again because all those sides and all those angles are congruent or equivalent it would be a regular octagon if we're using precise math language how in the world did they resist unbelievable man i'm coming after you i'm just saying it what shape is this? This is a parallelogram. So now we're gonna match the shape to the names. That's a parallelogram. Remember, technically, a square is a parallelogram and so is a rectangle. But in this case, there's no right angles, so it can't be a rectangle nor a square, and all the sides are not equal, so it can't be a square. So the best name is a parallelogram. So all squares are parallelogram, but not all parallelograms are squares. And again, I keep telling you, you're going to learn this later, but I'm teaching it to you now. Let's just get rid of this guy. Bye! He looks like, man, you're only one question away from killing me. Alright, what shape is this? That is a trapezoid. There's no right angle, so it can't be a rectangle nor a square. Alright, I think we're on our final spell. Powerful, we didn't even Right. Thank you guys for watching. Please make sure you like, subscribe, tell your friends so they can be better at math and prodigy as well. You know what? Tell your classmates, tell your teacher, and I really, really hope you don't have any enemies. I'll see you guys later.